Hello again, everyone. This video, we are going to talk about uh, still in the Modify Objects section of the Objectives. And we're going to talk about Trim and Extend Objects. Trim and Extend is a very useful tool when you get uh, into it and start modeling. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but it's real easy to use. Um, there are there is a tool in the ribbon in the modify panel uh, for trim and extend you see right now it's trim and I can click on that button to get that to uh, that trim tool to activate and I can also change it to the extend um, just by clicking on the drop down menu and choosing extend okay um, or and this is the way I find it easiest to use is just type trim okay and select it that way or type extend and select it that way okay let's do extend first now um, extend says select objects or and we'll talk about the select all in just a moment but select objects. The first object I want to select when using it in this mode is the object that I want to extend to. So if I want to extend this line to this line, then I will select this line first. Okay. And then I will hit the enter button and it gives me a new instruction that says select, ob select object to extend or shift select to trim or blah 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 and we just want to extend so we will hover here and you can see the preview that it gives us telling us what it's going to do okay now if you hover over something that cannot be extended it'll give you the little no-no sign up above your cursor so all I have to do is click on that line try again click on that line and now it is extended to the line that I chose first and I'm going to undo that and show you another way to do well let's do trim first we'll do trim then we'll come back and show you that so trim I'll select it and it selects says select object or select all and we'll come back and talk about that so I'm going to um, you know kind of pick the host trimming object uh, what I'm going to use for the boundary uh, this is the trimming boundary I'm going to select this line okay and then I'm going to hit enter and it says select object to trim or shift select and on and on so here if I hover it'll give me a preview of what it's going to cut so if I hover down here it's basically you hover over or click on the portion of geometry that you want to remove and I can also do the top as well okay so if I click on that now that part of the line is gone and I just have the remaining line so that's trim now you can also and this is a lot of the ways a lot of times I'll use it like this let's say I want to trim so I type trim hit enter and instead of selecting objects I'm gonna click enter again to select all you see over in the uh, parentheses it says select all that means hit enter and then it says select objects to trim and then of course I can do some other things by shift select to extend okay so in this mode I can hover here and trim that I can trim this or I can come up here and trim that so this basically turns everything into an object to be trimmed or an object to trim from okay so that's basically again just going into trim and instead of selecting objects click enter okay now I can also extend from the same function simply by clicking on the shift select to extend so I'm going to click on the shift select and you see it wants to extend instead of trim if I release the shift then it, it uh, goes back to trim 
and I can do the same thing from extend okay so select objects instead of selecting the objects I'm gonna hit the enter button to select all now it turns every object into a possible um, extend boundary and you see it only will activate on lines that can actually be extended to something okay now I can here as well hold down the shift button and it will turn into the trim tool just like that okay so very useful tool trim and extend